My name is Marcus Green. I am a student here at Jackson State University and I am a senior criminal justice major. Um, well, my background in music begins uh, as far back as about 11 years old or so when I began playing for my church at Mount Elizabeth Missionary Baptist Church. I was playing drum set there and that was really my first time doing anything music related as I kind of just picked up sticks almost and took the place of a drummer who was formerly there. Um, then as I progressed with that, I moved on to high school and I began on snare drum early on and I requested to move to Quince because that was my favorite instrument and I began playing those in about ninth grade and um, from there I went on to college and I was introduced more into the world of mallet percussion where I had my eyes open to a whole new aspect of music and percussion in general. Um, well, MAB has had a very large impact on me as far as my journey from music and through music. Um, coming from Clinton High School, it was a core style form of marching, which is very different than the form of marching that we have here at Jackson State. And I was not prepared to do such things coming straight from Clinton and going straight to Jackson State. So MAB was a great way for me to change um, change how I looked at music and change how I performed and it was really very essential in my growth as far as percussion and music. Uh, yeah, I have, like I just said, the one dealing with mainly adjusting from core style to a show style form of music, that was very critical in my adjustment process and not only coming from high school to college, between that time, it may be help, but it's also continued to help every summer because I've continually been a part of the program every summer. And it's, it's great. I love the program and it, it helps me know that hard work eventually will pay off. Uh, future aspirations as being a member of Mu Phi Sigma National Percussion Fraternity. I do hope that we could do some type of project in conjunction with MAB to help the community or serve the community. Um, that would be a, a great thing to be done, I believe, but I also, um, I want to, I also believe that MAB has been doing a great job serving the community as they have done many service performances throughout Jackson and also around the Mississippi area as they have performed with the Dancing Dogs, which I'm sure they appreciate it, as we definitely appreciated the opportunity to do so with them. Hello, my name is Christopher Stewart. I'm a senior music education major from Jackson, Mississippi, and I'm the current I'm currently the head section leader for the Jackson State University Sonic Boom of the South trombone section. My tenure on trombone started when I was in sixth grade, um, and when I tell people about this, I kind of say that trombone was. Uh, meant for me, I was meant for trombone, and trombone was meant for me, it picked me. Because initially I planned to uh, audition for percussion, and I talked to my parents about it, and we, we agreed that's what I was going to do. And the day came where we everybody was to audition for percussion, and the, the band director told us, um, if you want to audition, just get up, come up, and sight read, whatever the piece was, and, and that's it. And somehow I end up sitting there just watching everybody get up and audition. And somehow I ended up home, at home 
and, and, and ended up not auditioning. My mom was a little upset about it. And they asked me why I didn't do it, and I was just like, man, it was, I don't know. I just didn't. I didn't, I don't know. So um, the next audition came for instruments, uh, wind instruments, and I tried um, saxophone. I couldn't get a sound out on that. I think my lips were uh, too big for trumpet, so I ended up trying out um, a trombone, and I believe that was a perfect fit because I got a sound out, and I didn't feel like there was something that I didn't like. So um, I got it to my mom, bought a trombone, and the first thing I did was pull it out of the case and just put it together and start blowing air, and it probably didn't sound too good, but uh, and that's where I started uh, with on trombone. So. Um, when I arrived at Jackson State um, to become part of the Sonic Boom of the South, I was somewhat um, a quiet person. I didn't I talked to my friends. If I knew people, I talked to them. I was a cool guy with people, but I didn't. I wasn't very vocal or outspoken a lot the entire time. So um, after my freshman year was completed, I I joined MAB fully then and. It may be the biggest thing that I, I'm, I'm grateful for for them is that they helped cultivate me into the leader I am today. Um, it may be brought out of me a lot of things that needed to come out of me. They helped bring out the assertiveness. Um, they helped bring out the leadership qualities that I possess now. And they helped me just, uh, I feel, become uh, become a, a better leader in general and, and for band. Um, I feel like if I hadn't, haven't, had, didn't join um, MAB, then I um, probably wouldn't be as good of a leader I feel I am today. But I feel um, MAB, it, 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 just the mentality that they instilled in us and that we it instilled in you about your craft to do the best that you can and, and be dedicated to what you do and um, just having a killer instinct that we have in marching band nowadays. And, it, it, and I got all of that from MAB, and I, I'm really grateful for that. And I feel like that I wouldn't um, be where I am today, part in part, uh, without MAB. Um, personal challenge, um, I feel like I said that MAB helped me was just becoming um, assertive, more assertive, and 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 stepping up to the plate, and 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 becoming more vocal, um, being a leader. I feel like I was a uh, okay leading I was in high school I was a section leader but I wasn't vocal and a lot of things section did or stuff that happened I just sat back and wouldn't say anything and I got in trouble for that but I feel like MAB helped me um, overcome being I guess timid so to say or um, not being as good of a leader I would say so that's the biggest thing I feel they helped me overcome uh, my biggest aspirations or my plans in music are to be a teacher, um, to be a performer, and, and eventually start producing. I guess you can say a jack of all trades. I want to um, teach students, spread knowledge about music, and teach them how to play different instruments and be an all-around good musician. I want to perform with just all genres of music and different ensembles and travel doing that and, and, and eventually start making my own music and producing and, and just venturing off doing the most that I can um, in the music industry and the music world. And as far as it concerns uh, MAB and the things I'd like to see them be able to grow to do is um, just being able to reach out to the community and, and, and touch more people like they did with me. I feel that um, one way they can do that is having um, the right resources and um, the funds at hand, so to say. Um, it's a lot of things that I learned with them. And with, it's not to say that we were or, or just had nothing, but we made, it may be made things happen with what they had. You had to take um, the lemons and the ice and, and the water and make lemonade with it. Um, and I feel that MAB can touch a lot of uh, more more of our youth and our community by having those funds and, and just through that cultivate more leaders like they did with me and just um, not only with band making leaders but making 
leaders in the community because that's what we need more today.